in Nigeria, when you go, they put plant, they treat you, they put the are clean and all of that. Here, they just clean it and you go. What heals it? It's the life-giving spirit. If there was something that was cut off before from your body, you can bring a new one out. That's why we hear testimonies of people who didn't have fallopian tube. Their fallopian tube was cut off. They don't have kidneys. But yet, a new one comes up. People who their leg one was shorter because you have the creative, but the creator of heaven and earth lives inside of you. He dwells in you. He lives in you. Who is inside of you? Is God inside of you or the devil that's inside of you? I haven't seen anyone who is oppressed of the devil who is able to free themselves. They can't cast out the demons out of themselves. So someone needs to say, out! Get out! You don't have any place. Because at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Hallelujah. Now it doesn't matter how long that demon has been in that body. When they hear the name of Jesus, they've got sense. They can't even stay. Look at the Bible we read, the scripture we read. They never didn't argue. you. First of all, they recognized his authority. When he was coming, they ran to him and fell down and worshipped him. Lord, what do you want to do with us? What do you want to do with us? And Jesus recognized that that man has been, that man he died, he came to die for, has been in that situation for a long time. He said, it's time for you to be free. Is there anyone under the sound of my voice today that has been under the torment of the devil? That has been under the oppression of the evil one. That the devil has been oppressing, expressing himself in every form. In the name of Jesus, I ask, I command you out. Lose him and let them go. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 1, verse 27, ESV version. He said to them, God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches, the riches of the glory of his mystery. Riches, mystery, riches. Which is what? Christ in me. Christ in me is the hope of glory. Christ living in me is a glory. God wants the world to see the riches of his glory through me. Express the riches of his glory through me. Christ in you is the hope of your glory. If demons are you, it only brings torments. You can't sleep in the night. Your mind is just struggling. But when Christ is in you, oh, Bali Basatawa, it brings glory in your job. It brings glory in your health. It brings glory in your relationship, in your marriage. It brings glory. Glory all around your children. You see them is the glory of the Lord. Everywhere you go is the glory of the Lord. Because Christ is made manifest in you. He's expressing his glory through you. His glory all around. Anything aside these things, there's a job for you to do. There's a job for you to do. And it was so exciting when Pastor Chris started telling us on Friday who Jesus truly is. Some people do not know who Jesus truly is. That's why they allow that situation to linger for a long time. That's why they pet that situation, they rub up that situation over and over again. You know, there's a way you can rub headache. Headache will become migraine. There's a way you rub migraine, migraine will become tumor. And before you, I've seen it happen in this country. Right on the national television, they told us there was a lady called Jade. Just very little thing she went to do. And what's that thing called that women do again? No, no, no. The one they do, they'll send a message every time. Huh? Eh? test. She went to do, they told me to go and do this. I'm not coming. <laughs> she went to do the spell test. And she found that they found that something little. Right on the national television, this lady died in the presence of everybody. Because they showed everything. The, last, the only time they took the TV off was when she took her last breath. You know, there's a way you can pet things and it becomes major. When he's just showing off his head, that's when you sit down and say, You know what? I cut you off. I cut you off. You die. You pass out. Let it be like you're walking on the street. What's wrong with you? You are, you are using God's word in your mouth. Which is sharper than any two-edged 
word. You are using it to construct operation on yourself. You are just in the, the Bible says. Oh my dear, we'll go shut up. In Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Really, there's a mentality you need to have. Give no room for the devil to operate anywhere around you. Have zero tolerance for the operation of darkness or demons. You know, in Christ, the people say many times, people don't talk about demons, you don't cast us. It's very easy. All we just need to do is say, out. You don't need, you are not allowed. You are not permitted in my house. You are not welcome in my house. There's a movie called War Room. How this lady, the devil has been tormenting her marriage. The devil has been carrying her up and down. You know, the part that tripped, the part that I love so much in that movie was when the woman recognized that all these things that have been happening has been the devil. She became angry, opened all her doors and said, get out, 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 out. And the devil understood it. He didn't argue. The devil left. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 11, he said, and if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Hey, Kalamasata. He said, but if the spirit, if the spirit of him, if this spirit I'm talking about, if this spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, if that spirit lives in you, if you are aware that that spirit is in your body, that spirit will vitalize your mortal body. It will bring to life everything that was dead, everything that wasn't working before. It will cause it to come back to life. If that spirit can raise Jesus from the dead, if it can raise him, if it can raise Jesus, what is that thing that God cannot do? Let the Holy Spirit live in you. Let him live in your body. Let him take over. Let him take over. He knows the things that you do not know. He knows. Hallelujah. He knows. Don't let the devil play with your mind. No, your mind is sanctified. It's sanctified. There can't be any de delay with the child of God. What, is, what do you mean by delay? This should happen at your own terms. It should happen. See, by this time, this is what I want to see happen. By this time, this is what I want to see. Somebody asked Pastor Chris a question. He said, during healing stream, as you are making stream, how do you know that those people you pray for have been? He said, it's not my business to know. He said, all I just do, I come and I say, heal out, heal out, heal out. I don't even look back to see if they fell or anything because guess what? The person that doing the work is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And that Holy Spirit lives in you. Brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit came to do a job in you. He came to work. He came to do a work. Especially in this time and in this season. He said, they that know their God. Jab do it. Lika Palabasata. They that know their God is not their going to say. They that know their God shall do. Do, 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 do. Do is an action. What are you going to do with the God that you know? With the Holy Spirit that you possess? What are you going to do? See, when people are possessed with the demon, I've had opportunity to see someone who's been possessed with the demon. You can't hold them when they're manifested. It takes many people to hold them. So imagine when the Holy Spirit possesses you. When the Holy Spirit takes over. When the Holy Spirit takes over your life, takes over your mouth, takes over your heart, takes over everything about you. You are a king. A king's king. The Bible says where the word of the king is, there is power. Power is dynamic ability to cause changes. Change it. Change this. Do, 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 do. It's time to do. Get up on your feet. Begin to pray the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is in my house. The Holy Spirit is in my house. The Holy Spirit lives in me. He lives in my house. It's in my house. It's in my embers. It's in my embers. From my head to my toe. The Holy Spirit is there. The Holy Spirit is not just in my head. It's not just in my heart. It's in my stomach. It's in my womb. It's all around. The Holy Spirit is everywhere. I am productive. The glory of the Lord is expressing itself through me. All around, I see His glory. I see His glory. That Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. That Spirit is living in me. It's living and active. 